Hello guys, Unknown Game here. On today's video, we're going to be talking about games journalists. My varied opinion on games journalism is very, very mixed. But mostly because of the amount of corruption there is in games journalism, and I feel like games journalism is just not legitimate as it used to be, and it, it feels like games journalists. Not not all game journalists are like this. It, it, you know, they, they, you know, there's many journalists. You know, Jason Schreier and all them lot. I, you know, I really do respect those people. But there are a lot of game journalists who are really are very corrupt and clearly in the money mindset. And this recent controversy from Kutaku, who falsely accused a video game called Persona Five and. There was this song in, I think it's one of the trailers, I'm not so sure, I'm not really too much into the Persona series or anything like that. They accused Persona 5 for using this song that apparently has a disability slur, which is all a bunch of bullshit, and clearly they didn't do any research on the lyrics of this song, which is just stupid because as a game journalist, you should do your research on what you're talking about first. This is why I hate games journalism, because they always force this narrative, their own narrative, all the time. Especially with politics. Politics is a very big one in in journalism for some reason, because they always force politics into every single little thing. And this is why the quartering, you guys should definitely subscribe to that channel. That channel is amazing, by the way. The quartering has made this website called Exclusively Games. And honestly, it's a very really great website if you want just gaming, nothing about politics. And they also have a YouTube channel as well. Exclusive, exclusively Games is another big alternative. And uh, obviously, a lot of games journalists constantly attack this website for falsely accusing of racism. And it's all a bunch of bullshit. This is what game journalists do. They always spread hatred because hatred is mainly drama filled. And, you know, when there's drama, they can make money off it, off these articles, which is... Just horrendous really because you would think game journalists would be by the person's side but no they're just the same corporate shill they are corporate shills they don't care who you are as a person but they always seem to act like they're the social justice they always act like they're they're bringing you know they're here to bring a sort of message a positive message but it ends up being a bad message if you guys know what i'm saying it's just Game journalists have just got very bad reputations and there's very little good, you know, journalists in the industry. Which is really sad because, you know, these, you know, these journalists that are trying to work hard are basically in the shadow and not being seen by anyone. But these big journalists who just constantly spread lies and misinformation, which is just disgusting and honestly, the the fucking twats, let's just, let's just get that out of the way. But anyway guys. This is the end of the video. I know it's very short. I mean, it's just I have not much time on my hands at the moment. I need to, need to focus on school stuff. So, guys, you know, continue to support my channel, please. I mean, this is just, this has just been crazy year so far. And yeah, guys, if you like this video, like it, comment down what you think of game journalists, and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. And I'll see you then.